hi thanks for stopping by this is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. in this little video series I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it all the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now let's get started in this video we're going to have a look at fabrics, threads and sewing machine needles on your sewing machine and which to pick to create the perfect project. So for this little video I chose three different fabrics. I have a very fine cotton fabric here, right here. It is not stretchy at all. You can't, I can barely stretch it. And this means I could use a cotton thread for it or a polyester thread which is universally applicable basically and I would use a sewing machine needle between 70 and 90 and here is a cotton another cotton fabric very popular German fabric it is stretchy and for this one I would use a regular sewing needle and a polyester thread because the polyester thread is a little bit elastic and it's very durable and I would pick one of these colors and I'm going with the lighter one because it's good to use a slightly lighter sewing thread so that it can't be seen on the fabric unless you want to do some decorative stitching of course then you can use a contrasting fabric so here's here's a corduroy it is slightly stretchy so I would use a polyester thread like this one with it as well and a sewing machine needle 80 or even 90 if I have to sew some seams and need a little bit of a stronger needle. And I also just wanted to share this handy table with you guys. After a lot of research online I finally found a website called sewitworks.com and it has a very comprehensive table and I just adjusted the table to my needs and to our needs here for all our semi dolls patterns and sewing tutorials and I also added the thread weight so you get a rough idea about what thread weight you need for which project. So for example if you making a very fine a very nice project with a very fine um, fabric like crepe or lace then you are going to want to use a ballpoint or sharp slash microtext needle. The needle size should be around 65 or 60 and you would want to use an extra fine mercerized cotton or polyester and the thread weight should be 50 to 60 which is the English thread weight I think the 180 to 150 is the European or German version I don't really understand there are so many different things to consider but just use a very fine mercerized cotton or polyester when you're using very fine fabrics. A light fabric would be a jersey or stretch when we are sewing semi dolls um, pajamas for example and then we would want to use a ballpoint needle and the needle size should be between 65 and 75 I always use a 70 and then we can use our all-purpose cotton or polyester thread like the ones I presented in the video before this one and the thread weight should again be 40 to 50. I'm using a 50 most of the time. If you're using um, if you're using a medium weight fabric like cotton or gingham then you will want to use a universal needle that's what I do and the needle size should be 75 to 90 I mainly use an 80 and again you can use your all-purpose cotton or polyester I recommend the polyester because it's more stretchy especially if your fabric has a little bit of gif and again the thread weight should be 40 to 50. I'm going to put this table on my website so you can have a look at it and maybe download it or print it out or whatever and have a proper look at it uh, without me interrupting you here by reading out everything <laughs> and let me know in the comments what other topic you want to see in this little series I'm so happy to hear suggestions I received the suggestion 
to show how to work the foot pedal on the sewing machine properly and I'm going to have some very adventurous camera set up to film that one and I hope yeah, I can bring it out to you very soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.